No. 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 Take your Bibles and turn to Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Another beautiful day God's gave. Amen. Another time to be in his house. And folks, we, we always say this, and somebody probably says, Well, why do you bother saying, I hope you've already prayed? Yeah. Folks, why would you show up to church and not pray? That's right. Why would you not come expecting something? And, uh, Folks, listen, I expect something out of you tonight, so you all ought to expect something out of the preacher. But uh, again, we ask to understand your prayers this evening. But if you find your place, Ecclesiastes chapter 3, and we want to start reading in verse 1. Ecclesiastes 3, starting in verse 1. The scripture says, To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Right. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to cast away stones and a time to gather stones together. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to get and a time to lose. A time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to rend and a time to sow. A time to keep silence and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war and a time of peace. We'd ask you, if you would, to bow your heads. Father, again, we thank you for your precious word. Yes. Lord, once again, uh, just uh, use us tonight to, to get the message across. Lord, let it encourage where it needs to encourage. Yes. Let it convict where it yes, needs to convict. Amen. And uh, Lord, again, you guide us with what needs said. We thank you. We praise you. And we ask all these things in Christ's name. And amen. Amen. With God, there is a time. That's With right. God, there is a time. He, he starts off and says, To everything there is a season Amen. and a time to every purpose under the heaven. That's Folks, right. with God, there is a time. Yes. Okay. He, he says there's a time to be born. Yes. Okay. And again, uh, not the physical birth, mm -hmm. but Sandy, there is a time for spiritual birth. Yes. Okay. In uh, John chapter 3, as he's talking to Nicodemus, uh, around verse 3, I think, he says, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Amen. That's right. Uh, folks, listen. You can be born in this life. You can see a lot of things. But if you're not born again, yes, that's you right. won't see heaven. That's right. You won't see heaven. Okay. He goes on then down around verse 5. He says, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Folks, listen, uh, your physical birth allows you to be able to, to walk and to enter yes. into all kinds of places down here. Yes, that's right. But, folks, it, it's that spiritual birth, right? right? Without that, you're not entering into the kingdom of God. Amen. You're not entering into heaven Amen. until you have a spiritual birth. Yes. But folks, again, the, the yin and yang, okay? Yeah. There's a time to be born. There's also a time to die. Yeah. There's a time to die. Yeah. Uh, Hebrews 9, 27. He says, For it is appointed unto man once to die, and after this the judgment. Amen. Okay? Uh, Romans 6, 23. For the wages of sin is death, yes. but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Folks, listen. When you come into this world, the one thing you are destined to do... Yeah. Is die right? Amen. Okay. Yeah. 
Bill, I can tell all of you all that just as sure as I can tell my son sitting yes. here. Yes. That I've told my other children, right. listen, you are going to die. That's right. Amen. You are going to die. Yes. Okay. Uh, but folks, again, there's another death that needs to occur, Harley. Yes. We need to die out to sin. Yes. Amen. We need to die out to sin. Folks, there's a time to die. There's a time to die out to sin. Okay. Uh, a, a time to to plant and to pluck up that which is planted. Right. Uh, again, you know, uh, 1 Corinthians 3, I think it is, Paul said, listen, I planted Apollo's water, but God gave the increase. Amen. Folks, listen, there are too many church people that aren't planting anything, Sandy. True. True. Amen. We live in a country, Joe, where we, we, we depend on uh, big ag. Yes. <laughs> To produce all kinds of food, and they do. Yes. But yes. folks, there are Christians that are not planting anything today. True. And they wonder why nothing's getting grown. Yeah. They wonder why nothing's getting plucked up. Listen, right. folks, right. you've got to plant something for those yes. seeds to produce anything. Amen. But uh, there's there's a time with God for everything. Okay. A time to weep, and a time to laugh. A time to mourn, and a time to dance. Okay. Uh, there is a time to mourn. Yes, that's right. There's a time to mourn. Uh, Psalms 35, chapter 30, verse 5, not Psalms chapter 35. Psalms 35, okay, it says, uh, Thank you, Lord. Weeping may endure for a night, yeah. but joy cometh in the morning. Amen. Folks, listen, there is a time to mourn. Yes, that's right. There is a time to grieve. Yeah. And then you know what? There is a time to rejoice. Yes. Joe past that grief. Yeah. But there are too many people today that they're stuck in mourning. That's right. Because so and so's gone, yeah. so and so's not here. Folks, guess who is still here? Amen. That's right. Christ. Amen. He hasn't left. Yes. So while I agree that yeah, you need to mourn, and folks, we mourn for our loved ones. Yeah. That's right. But there's also joy now. Yes. Amen. There's laughter, Bill. We yes. can look back and remember things. Yes. And it makes us chuckle. Yes. Listen, folks, if you're spending all your time remembering your loved one, Sandy, and it depresses us, yes. something's wrong. Amen. Amen. Because that's not the way that God intended that. He, he said, listen, uh, I want your joy to be full. Amen. I want your joy to be full. In Proverbs, he says, laughter is, is like a medicine. Mm -hmm. Yes. Laughter is like a mess. So folks, listen, yeah. we should be happy. Yeah. Amen. When we think back to, to yeah. those that are going on, it, yes. it should make us happy. It should make us laugh. Yes. Okay? Again, not that I'm not saying that you shouldn't grieve. You should yeah. grieve. That's right. That's right. But folks, listen. <laughs> yeah. Do you think Christ wanted them to grieve no. the whole time after he, he left? No. 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 Three days later, said, listen, you ought to be rejoicing. Yes. Because death doesn't have any power now. Yes, that's right. Death doesn't have any power. But all these different times, okay? Uh, a time to get and a time to lose. Yeah. And, and folks, we, we've said this several times. Listen, there's some people that they need to get new friends. Yes, amen. They need to get new friends. Amen. <laughs> they need to lose this baggage yes. that's weighing them down. That's right. Okay. Now, Doug, that's a hateful thing to, for a preacher to say. No, no, it's true. It's true. Hebrews 12, I believe, there at the first Hebrews 12. Let us lay aside every weight yes, that's right. and the sin which does so easily beset us. Folks, that's listen, right. if somebody's weighing you down, yes. it's time to let them go. Yes. Okay? Now, I don't mean just cut them off completely, mm -hmm. but listen, there are places that you have people that you love that they go that they shouldn't be going. Mm -hmm. That they do things that they shouldn't right. be doing. Right. That's that right. they drink things that they shouldn't right. be drinking. Yeah. That they inhale things that they shouldn't right. be inhaling that aren't Bless air. Him. Okay? Bless now, him. amen or out, amen. Folks, That's right. listen. Bless him. There's a time to cast that stuff away. Right. Bless him. Listen, folks, when Paul got saved, <laughs> everybody that used to be a friend, Bill, yeah. was an enemy. That's right. And it took a whole long time, yes. Joe, for all the people that was on the other side to say, hey, yeah. <laughs> he's one of us now. That's right. He's one of us. Yes. But folks, listen, there's a time to cast away and there's a time to, to bring together, okay? That's right. 
a time to keep silence and a time to speak. Mm -hmm. Folks, if most people could master that one, yeah. true. <laughs> Amen. Amen. they would be in much better shape. True. They would be in much better shape. There's a time to keep silence and a time to speak. You go back to Joshua 6, they circle around Jericho. Yeah. Six yeah. days, walk around at one time, don't say a word. Right. The seventh day, you walk around at seven times, and when I tell you, yeah. shout. Yeah. And folks, they did exactly what he said, and what happened? Yeah. The walls came down. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Gideon's 300. Listen. Yes. He says, listen, you keep quiet. Right. You just hold up the light, and when I say shout, yes. they said, the sword of the Lord and of Gideon. That's right. And folks, that's when the battle's won. There's a time to keep silence and a time to speak. There are, there are a lot of people that don't understand this. Folks, listen, when you come to church, it's time to keep silent. Now, wait a minute, preacher. You're monopolizing all the, the service. No. Look in uh, Ecclesiastes 5, the very first verse. Keep thy foot when thou goest to the house of God and be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools. And folks, there's a lot of people giving sacrifice True. of fools True. in church today. Joe. Bless him more. And they don't even realize it. Just diarrhea of the mouth. Okay, mm -hmm. again, I apologize. Bless him more. I, I know that's not pleasant to hear, but that's the sum of what it is. Bless Just him. noise. Right, right. Be more ready to hear than to give the sacrifice of fools, for they consider not that they do evil. Right, right. Be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before God. For God is in heaven, and thou upon earth. Therefore let thy words be few. Folks, listen. God didn't need your help in writing this. Right. He didn't need Doug's help in writing this. Right. He didn't need anybody else's help in writing this. But you know what he needs your help in? Listening. Yes. Listen. Folks, there's a time to keep silence. When we come to church... Uh, and again, listen, I'm not saying don't testify. You ought to testify. Yes, if you don't testify when God's put something on your heart. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Amen. Bill, we're just going to put a big sign and say James 4, James. 17. And we're yeah. going to gonna <laughs> paint it on the wall. Yes. Okay? To him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is sin. Listen, folks, if God has told you to do something, yes. that, that's one thing. But, folks, we should be listening when we come to God's house. Amen. Amen. The time to speak is when you're outside God's house. Right, right. The time to speak is when you're outside God's house. Folks, that's when you should be going and saying, oh, here's what our wonderful preacher said today. <laughs> hear, the, hear these Bless words him. of wisdom that he, he gave us. And listen, if you can't even remember that, that's all right. You can pull it up on yeah. YouTube now, there Bill. You and just say, here, you can just watch. Yeah. It'd be better if you just watch, link. folks. <laughs> but folks, we... We sit in church, Sandy, and we keep the message right here. Yeah, true. It doesn't go out true. to our friends. It doesn't go out to our neighbors. It doesn't go out to our coworkers. It just stays right here like it's a secret. Folks, listen, you can talk about Doug outside of here. You know why? Because you can talk about Christ outside of here. That's right, Amy. He wants you to talk about him outside of God's house. But a time to, to keep silent and a time to speak. Okay. Folks, there's a time that we should be seeking the Lord. Yes. There's a time that we should be seeking the Lord. And uh, well, what time is that, Doug? Now? Yeah. Now? Amen. Uh, Hosea 10 12 says, Sow to yourselves in righteousness and reap in mercy. Break up your fallow ground. Folks, you know what fallow ground is? It's dormant. Yes. It hadn't been used. Right. It's unplowed. He says, break up your foul ground. For it is time to seek the Lord. Till he come and rain righteousness upon you. That's what Hosea was telling the Israelites. Listen, it's time to seek God. It's time to seek God. And that's uh, uh, the same thing Isaiah says. Isaiah 55, 6. Seek ye. Seek ye. Yes. <laughs> yes. Or this person. Yes, that's right. Amen. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Yeah. Call ye upon him while he is near. Yeah. Let the wicked man forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and return to God and he will obtain mercy. 
and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Amen. Folks, listen, it's time to seek God. Yes. It's time to seek God. And hardly, that's why we have to spend so much time praying for these young people. Mm -hmm. Because they have all these other things to seek. Yeah, that's right. They have all these other things to seek out. Yeah. And, and Bill, that isn't the problem. Yeah. The problem is they look at adults yeah. and right. can't find them seeking after God. Right. If adults aren't seeking after God, how do you expect young people to Amen. seek after God? That's right. Yes. It's impossible. Amen. It's impossible. Folks, listen, that it's time now to seek after the Lord. Right. And there's not a lot of people seeking after the Lord. Amen. Okay. Amen. But it's time to wake up. It's time to wake up. Folks, there are people that have rocked themselves to sleep. Yeah. There are people that are deceiving themselves. Right. And guess what? It's time to wake up. Yes, amen. It's time to wake up. Romans uh, 13, 11, I believe. He says, knowing the time. Yes. So Paul makes this very clear. Listen, yes. you know. Yes. You know it's time to wake up. Right. There are people that feel uh, they can avoid me all they want. Because yeah. guess what? It doesn't matter. Doug doesn't have to say anything. They already know. Amen. Knowing the time. That now it is high time. Amen. Not only is it time, but high time. Listen, yes. it's past that. Yes. And Bill Hubert, and it's been yes. over 10 years since yes. he was saying this. Yes. And we've said the same thing. But all that time before that he was here and said, listen, it's high time. Yes. If it was high time then, what Amen. do you think it is now? Amen. That's right. Harley, that's scary. Yes, it is. Listen, if, if Paul... And all these other writers at that time said, it is high time then. Yeah. Folks, listen, it's past high time. Yes, amen. amen. To wake out of our sleep. Yes. That's what he says. It's time to wake up. And there are people that have just rocked themselves to yeah. sleep. Mm -hmm. They've just convinced themselves that, you know what? Everything's okay. Yeah. Everything's okay. And you know why? Because, folks, we are enablers. Yeah, true. True. Name any amens on yes. that. Okay. Amen. That's all That's right. right. That's all right. Don't change it's still true, yeah. Becky. That's right. Listen, we're enablers. Yes. We live in a side of Glenna where, where people do things and we just want to say, it's okay. It's okay. They're not a cat. <laughs> They're not a dog. Listen, folks. You all Less think I'm a hateful man if you come and see how I talk to my dog. Okay? <laughs> if I talk to my dog that way. I'm going to talk to an adult just the same, bro. Right. Listen, wake up. Wake up. But there's people, they're, they're just the sleep part. Yes, that's right. Asleep and they don't care, okay? And it's time to go to church. Amen. Yes. It's time to go to church, Amen. okay? Uh, Hebrews 10, 25. Not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together as the manner of some men. Yep. But exhorting one another, and rather so much the more yes. as you see the day approaching. Folks, listen, it's time to go to church. Yes, amen. It's time to go to church. Well, we've got revival coming up uh, such and such a day. Well, we've got Mother's Day coming up. Well, Christmas is coming up. Folks, listen, until May 7th is important to you, mm -hmm. right. none of those other days are going to matter. Amen. Until amen. Uh, November first or whatever it is is important to you christmas isn't going to matter yeah, right but folks we there are so many churches they are so wrapped up and listen we're going to have revival on this and this day and we're going to have a special program on this and this day amen. folks it was a special program today amen, amen. Right. why harley because you got to wake up yeah and right. come to church right. and sandy see and hear and take part Shake hands. Sure. But Joe, there's so many people forsaken that. Listen, folks, until it's important today, right. service in the future don't matter. That's right. Folks, listen, the most important service that you're going to go to yeah. is the next one. Yeah. Okay? The most important service is, guess what? May... 10th. 
<laughs> you know what that is? That's Wednesday. Okay, folks. That's the that's the most important service from here on. Right. Because it's the next one. Okay. But not forsaking the assembling of ourselves, folks. Listen, it's time to go to church. Yeah. Amen. And again, I know you're all tired of hearing it. I'm tired of saying it, <laughs> folks. I shouldn't have to tell the church, Harley, to go to church. Right. That's right. Amen. amen. Now, amen or out. I shouldn't have to tell the church to go to church. But folks, guess what? If the church don't want to go to church, what do you think the lost think? Yeah. Right. Amen. Well, why should I go? They don't go half the time anyway. And there are those that would look and say, well, now listen, Doug, get off my case. I used to go to church way back when. Yeah. Yeah. Well, here's some cold water for you. Guess what? Most of the people that would have cared, yeah. most of the people that would be impressed, Bill, yeah. they're in the cemetery. Yes. That's right. right. That's right. true. Amen. Yes. You want to play that game? We'll play that yeah. game. Okay. Let's. Well, I used to, folks. Most of the people that used to care aren't here. That's right. Amen. Amen. And those that need to care yeah. see the example that you know what? It doesn't matter. Right. It doesn't matter. Folks, again, whole families have been let out by one person. Yeah. It only takes one person. Yeah. And you know what, Bill? Just like sheep. Yeah. That's what happened. Amen. Folks, it's time to go to church. Yeah. It's time to go to church. God wants us to go to church, okay? <laughs> and it's time for the church to set the example. Yes. It's time for the church to set the example. <laughs> Uh, 1 Peter 4, 17, I believe. He says, for the time has come yes. that judgment must begin Amen. at the house of God. Right. Harley, he didn't say it oughta. He didn't say it probably right. should. He said, time has come that judgment must begin right. at the house of God. And if it first begin at us, right. what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel of God? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, yeah. where will the ungodly and the sinner appear? Right. right, Folks, listen, it's time for the church to set the example. And we've said this, listen, folks, if you, they can't tell any difference between the world and the church, yeah. we may as well lock the doors. Yeah, that's right. We may as well lock the doors. Listen, folks, it's time for the church to set the example. And they're setting the example, but Sandy, I'm I'm worried about the example yes. that the church has set. Yes. Okay. Doug, you talking about us? <laughs> I'm talking about the church. Right. Right. Okay. Not just Pinch Ridge, That's not right. wherever. Okay. I'm talking about the church, folks. The example that the church is setting is dangerous. Yes. And you say, well, Doug, how do you know that, folks? Look at the people that we elect. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. On either side of the aisle. That's right. Harley. Amen. Amen. It's time for the church to set the example. Yeah. Listen, when you set aside everything that you know is wrong yeah. and say, well, I'm just going to vote with my pocketbook <laughs> or I'm just going to vote because of this or because of that. Yeah. Folks, that's the example the church is setting today. Yeah. The people that we choose to lead our country. Yeah, that's right. Folks, if the church didn't set the example, guess what? Don't expect uh, yeah, the right. president. Don't that's expect right. the Senate. Don't expect the House of Representatives. Right. Don't expect any of these other people to set the example. Yes. Folks, the time has come that the church has to set the example. And the time has come that, guess what? We have to be true and consistent. We have to be true and consistent. And Sandy, it, it pains me to say this, okay? And I know that you grew up the same way I did. Listen, in the old days, <laughs> you didn't have to worry about this, Bill. We didn't have to say this. You know what? Listen, you need to be true and you need to be consistent. Yeah. Yeah. That's not the way it is now. Right. That's right. Folks, listen. When people think that they can come when they want, yeah. that they can uh, go when they want, that I can come and listen, I can come up and cry some crocodile tears. Bless him, Lord. Bless Good thing that there ain't a lot of you here tonight to make angry, right? 
Hey, amen or out. Amen. Right. Amen or out. Folks, listen, there are people that they come, they cry some crocodile tears, and guess what? There is absolutely no change that's made because this next week, Carly, they're doing the same thing they did. Yeah. Or they're not doing the same thing yes. they did. Listen, folks, don't come and cry a bunch of tears and say, oh, listen, I've seen the light, and then guess what? Next week you're not here. Oh, then the next week you're not here. Oh, the next week you're not here. Well, wait a minute. Oh, well, they had an experience. Mm -hmm. Folks, don't have an experience. Have a Savior. Yes, amen. Amen. Too many people want an experience. Yes. Have a Savior. Mm -hmm. Amen. Have a Savior. But, folks, it's time to be true and consistent. Yes. Second Peter 4. No, not Second Peter. Second Timothy. Four, around verse 2. It says, preach the word. Be instant in season and out of season. Right. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Amen. For the time will come that they will not endure sound doctrine. Having, uh, uh, having from their own lust, heaping to themselves teachers having itching ears, and being turned away from the truth and turned unto fables. Right. Folks, listen, it's time to be true and it's time to be consistent, yes. okay? There are people that they would look and say, oh, I believe the Bible. Mm -hmm. I believe the Bible. You just don't practice it. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, <laughs> Again, folks, you wouldn't go to a doctor that said, oh, I'm a doctor, but I don't practice it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm a lawyer, but I don't practice it. Oh, I believe, but I just don't practice it. Folks, listen, you got to be true. Yes. You got to be true. Well, that's just talking about preachers. Folks, you preach to more people this week than Doug will. That's all right. Amen. You'll preach to more people this week than Doug will. Yes. He says, be instant in season, out of season. Folks, yes. not only when it's happy times, but guess what? When it's hard times. Yes. Not only when it's easy, but when it's difficult. Yes. Okay? Listen, folks, it's one thing. To, to be happy and uh, on fire for God inside church. Mm -hmm. Are you happy and on fire for God at the house? That's right. Amen. Are you happy and on fire for God at work? Right. Are you happy and on fire for God at the ball game or wherever? Folks, that's what instant in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering, patience. Okay. Yes. Some of them ought to preach on that. Yeah, right? that's right. Oh, that's right. Somebody did preach on that. Right? With all long suffering and doctrine. And hardly, again, that, that D word that scares so many people. Yeah. Listen, folks. Yeah. Sound doctrine. Amen. Sound doctrine. What God's word says. Not yes. what somebody thinks. Listen, right. I don't care what somebody thinks. Amen. I don't care uh, what they practiced, what yeah. they did 40 years ago, Bill. Right. And listen, you shouldn't either. Yeah. That's now, right. I, I can tell you I come from a good church, and I did. Praise the Lord. But it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. That was just them, Harley. Yeah. The same as the people that was here 40 years ago. Yeah. Same yeah. that was the people at Mount Pleasant or wherever you want to pick 40 years ago. Right. But sound doctrine. Yes. Sandy, that's what mattered. Was there sound doctrine? Was there sound doctrine there? Is there sound doctrine here? Folks, listen, if it don't come out of the book, it ain't worth repeating. Right. Right. It's just somebody's opinion. Yes. It's just somebody's opinion. But folks, time to be consistent. And, and again, that's why there's no draw for the lost. Because if you just see somebody go to church once a month, well, it must not be too important or else they go more. Yeah, that's right. Bless must him. not be too important or you know what? Yeah. They'd be talking about this guy yeah. named Jesus, right? Yes. Must not be too important because every time we go out to eat, man, they just shoveled in yeah. and they'd never bow their head. Yeah. They never pause for a second. Amen. That's right. Folks, that's what we got to understand. Listen, it, it's not the world that's keeping people lost. It's yeah. the church. That's right. It's the example we're setting. Folks, the example the world's setting, oh, that's the way it's always been. Yes, that's right. You can go back to Sodom. You can yes. go to Babylon. You can yeah. go to, to Jerusalem in the early part of the, uh, the first century or whatever. Folks, that has always been. 
There has always been evil. There's always been heathen. There's always been hypocrites. Yes. The problem is, you know what? There used to be a church. <laughs> there used to be an example being set. Right. And now's the time that we got to get back to that. That we got to get back to that. To that. Now is the time to repent. Yes. Now is the time to repent. Uh, the book of Revelation, chapter 2 and chapter 3, five out of seven churches, the message is the same for all of us. Right. Repent. Yes. And guess what? If you don't repent, I'm going to come and I'm going to remove your candlestick. That's right. Okay. You don't want to repent, that's fine. I'll snuff you out. Yeah. And Luke, he snuffed out a lot of churches. Yes. There's a lot of churches that they didn't pay attention to, to those uh, first few chapters of Revelation are. Listen, the time to repent, it's now. It's now. And folks, it wasn't only true now. It wasn't only true for the seven churches. Uh, you go back to 2 Chronicles chapter 6, if you've all been reading. Uh, Solomon, in chapter 6, <coughs> he goes over a whole litany, Harley, of, listen, Lord, if we do this and this and this, but if we turn back to you, you'll hear Listen, if you hit us with uh, mildew and uh, blasting and, and all this stuff, and we turn back to you, he said, you'll hear. Listen, if we turn our backs and we forget about you, but we come to our senses and we repent, he says, you'll hear. But folks, listen, now's the time to repent. Amen. Now's the time to repent. And in the Second Chronicles 7, 14, I know you all, all know this, okay? <laughs> If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves Amen. and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, right. then yes. will I hear from heaven right. and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Amen. If we'll yeah. humble ourselves, you know what that means? That means looking at God and saying, guess what? You're right. Yeah. Doug's wrong. That's right. Folks, that, that's... The simple definition of humble right. is admitting that, guess what, God, you're right, yeah. I'm wrong. Right. If they'll pray, Joe, again, how many people, the only time they pray is in church. Right, right. And Bless they wonder them. why yeah. God doesn't have a part in their life. Because yeah. you put him in a box. Yeah. This is the only place I can talk to him. If they'll humble themselves, if they'll pray, if they'll seek my face. Again, we've done told you about seeking the Lord. Folks, listen, you have to be looking for something. That's right. There are people that they are looking for something, but they're looking in all the wrong places. Yeah. They're looking. Up. Folks, listen, if you've got to pay to look for something, <laughs> yeah. wake up. Yeah. That's right. Wake up. Yeah. Listen, they can put you on the nicest couch they want. I can come and put you on a, a bench for yeah. free. Yeah. And some of these front ones, Bill, again, they're nice and padded. Yeah, they ain't they been used very good. much. So. <laughs> Got a nice high back, keep you awake and everything. But folks, there are people there, they're seeking approval from places that there's no need to seek approval from. Right. They're seeking acceptance from people that, you know what, there's no, no point in seeking acceptance from. Folks, who other than Christ do you need to seek acceptance right. from? Amen. Glenn, you all don't have to seek acceptance from Doug. I don't have to, to seek acceptance from you. Right. But guess what? you got to seek acceptance from God. Amen. But Harley, there's so many people. They want to be accepted by this group. <laughs> they want to be liked by this group. They want to be liked by this person. They want to impress these, these individuals. Yeah. Folks, you want to impress somebody, impress God. Right. Yeah. Right. You, you want to know what impresses God? <laughs> A broken heart and a contrite spirit. That's, right. That's what impresses God. Folks, a broken heart and a contrite spirit. But Amen. time to repent. Yes. Humble themselves, pray, seek my face, yes. and turn from their wicked ways. Right. Folks, listen, it's good if you're coming to church. But Sandy, if that's all it is, guess what? That means that yes. this is just where you're at for that hour. Yeah. And that's going on too. Yeah. Across the land, folks. Yeah. Across the land, there are people just showing up. They go in the building. They sit on the premises. They're not standing on the promises. Amen. Amen.
and turn from their wicked ways. Okay? Folks, when we repent, he says, you know what? I'll forgive. Yes. If we repent, he says, I will forgive. Amen. Okay? But there's always a time with God. Okay? But this last one, that's the most important. Okay? There's a time of salvation. There's a time of salvation. Uh, 2 Corinthians 6, 2. He says, For he saith, uh, I have heard thee in an accepted time, and I have succored thee, thank you, Lord, in the day of salvation. Behold, now is the accepted time. Amen. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Right. Folks, there is a time to be saved, and that Amen. time is now. Amen. Okay? Listen, that's great that, that uh, there's a revival here, there's a revival there. Guess what? You may not make it to the revival. Right. Right. Listen, we have a, a good program come Bible school, Bill. We have a good program come Christmas. But guess what? You may not make it to, to Bible school. Right. You may not make it to Christmas. That's right. And then what are you going to do? He says, Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Amen. And, and Bill, again, I have no idea where he stood with God, but Miss Paisel's grandson out here, yeah, right. uh, again, 42 years old or whatever, yeah. listen, it wasn't the next week. <laughs> it was that Sunday before. Yeah. That was the accepted time. Yes. That was the day of salvation, because guess what? Next Sunday didn't come. Yes, that's right. And Sandy, the obituaries are full of people that guess what? Next Sunday didn't come. Right. Next service didn't come. Next revival didn't come. Yeah. Folks, today. Yes, amen. That's what he says. Today is the accepted time. Today is the day of salvation. If you have the opportunity to be saved and you walk out those doors. Yes. Or you turn away from God. It doesn't have to be here. That's okay. right. It could be at work. Right. It could be in the car. But folks, when you tell God, not today. You're playing Russian roulette. Yes. You put. You all know what Russian roulette is, right? Yeah. You put one bullet in the chamber. Yeah. Bill, I've never understood why people would want to do that. No. You got to be really drunk or really stupid. Yeah, that's right. But you know what? That's what they're doing with their souls. Yes. They're playing Russian roulette. They're saying, "Listen, there'll be another day. I don't got to worry about this time. I'm safe, folks. Now, today is the exception." Today is the day of salvation. But folks, there's always a time with God. Are you meeting that time that he's set up? Folks, he's made an appointment. Yes. He's made an appointment to come talk to you. Uh, Revelation 3.20, then we'll close. It says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Yeah. If any man will open the door yes. and hear my voice and, and let me in, I will come in and sup with him and he with me. Folks, God's made an appointment with you. But you got to keep that appointment. Amen. Listen, you can't show up late for that appointment. No, no. You can't reschedule that appointment. He may come again and make another appointment, Joe. And that's what it says when he's long-suffering. He has made so many appointments yes. with people. Yes. And, Bill, I, I Scripture don't say this, but I can imagine in hell... Every one of those times yeah. I believe that. Will, will be remembered. You yes, know what? I believe that. I could have accepted then. That's right. I could have accepted then. Yes. I could have made things right then. Yes. I could have turned back then. Yes. Too late. Yes. Too late. That's right. Bill gives us a song. <laughs> Folks, if you all have a need, we'd ask you to come. Page 234. There's a great day coming, a great day coming. There's a great day coming by and by. When the saints and the sinners shall be parted right and left. Are you ready for that day to come? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the judgment day? Are you ready? Are you ready? 
for the judgment day. There's a bright day coming, a bright day coming, there's a bright day coming by and by. But his brightness shall only come to them that love the Lord. Are you ready for that day to come? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the judgment day? Are you ready? Are you ready for the judgment day? There's a sad day coming, a sad day coming. There's a sad day coming by and by. When the sinner shall hear his doom depart, I know ye not. Are you ready for that day to come? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for the judgment day? Are you ready? Are you ready for the judgment day? Folks, it's either going to be a happy day or it's going to be a sad day. That's right. And again, it's going to be up to you. Uh, not going to be up to mom and dad. Not going to be up to the preacher. Not going to be up to the governor, the president. It's going to be up to you. Amen. Whether that's a good day or a sad day. All right. All hearts and minds free. Uh, announcements. Uh, Wednesday night be prayer meeting. The children's church and youth groups. So remember that. Any other announcements? Again, good to see everybody this evening. Hope God blesses you with a wonderful week. If nothing else, Glenna, this one's for you. Thank <laughs> you.